using the white tab. In this video, we will review using the commonly used features on the white tab of PartnerRip. To get started, open the PartnerRip program, then open a square or rectangular photograph or graphic and select the white tab on the bottom right. Here you will find the white ink control options, white layer generation, white highlight, view, and white channel setting. Let's start by changing our view from color to white. Under view, select the white option. We can now preview how the partner rip will print white using the selected image. There are five options for printing white under the white layer generation option. To select the first option, click on the drop down menu under white layer generation and select fill all area. This option generates a full square shape fill, which is great for printing square or rectangular images. Next, we will select an image that has a different shape other than completely square or rectangular. While the fill all area works well for square or rectangular images, we can see this option is not best for images that are round or have rounded corners or irregular shaped edges. This would produce a box-like shape white print. Select the next option under white layer generation and click 100% white under any colored pixel. This option prints white only where color is present. For our next option, we will select an image with multiple colors. Under white layer generation, click gradient white under any colored pixel. This option prints white at different intensities, like a gradient depending on the density of the color. It's a great option for creating dimension, creating textures with white prints, or using a thinner white underbase. The following option is white gradient negative. This option will print more white behind darker hues and less under tones that are lighter, and is also used to create textures. Lastly, under white layer generation, drop down and click the white gradient positive option. This option will print more white behind lighter hues and less under darker tones. A white bounding box will be printed when using flattened files or you can use a transparent Photoshop file to eliminate this. Another feature in the white tab is the white highlight, operable with images imported in PSD format into the RIP library. This feature will allow white sections of an image to print simultaneously with the color print. Once a PSD file is selected, the white highlight feature will become enabled. Simply check the box to activate the white highlight. When printing, print the color only. You will see the white highlight option is already checked in the print menu. The next feature we will cover in the white tab is the white channel setting. Here is where ink channels can be controlled by turning them off and on. Channels 1 through 4 are programmed as white channels on the color tab. Click white channel setting to open the menu. A green check mark indicates the ink channel is activated. Uncheck to turn white channels off that will not be used during white prints. Since the clear gloss ink bag is hooked up on channel 3 and primer is on channel 4, they are turned off for white only prints. The final feature we will cover in the white tab is the decrease option. This decreases the surface area covered by white on each side anywhere from 1 to 10 pixels. By entering a number between 1 to 10, the white is trapped inward, allowing the color layer to extend over the edges, helping to eliminate a white border around your imprint. Tip segment. To zoom in on your image, select the layout tab and change the paper height to a smaller size, for example, 100 millimeters. Remember to change your default back to 600 when you're finished zooming. Otherwise, you will not be able to view a full page or a full template. The resolution and file type used determines how the white is picked up by PartnerRip. Partner RIP will print low resolution on white prints as it appears on the screen. When enlarged, 
If the edges don't look crisp and clear, the result will be a pixelated white print. Vector EPS images will retain their high resolution no matter how much they are enlarged. PSD files will lose resolution if enlarged, so a resolution of 300 ppi is recommended, and the image should be saved at the required output size. While EPS or vector images will register 100% white areas as a transparency, PSD files will recognize 0% CMYK or 255 RGB as solid white, filling in the area with white ink. To create a transparent background in a PSD file, you must remove any white area in the background, leaving it as transparent. When using a PSD file, make sure the image is cropped to avoid having padding or negative space around the image, as this can cause the image to be off-center and not true to size.